should we be making a video about today? Well, if you noticed, um, yeah, from the recent events, we've lost a Hero 7 block from this channel. So, currently on my Nazgul, my Protec, and... Oh, right. That, that's not here anymore. Um, we don't have an uh, official action camera to really record anything uh, that is that offers superb quality as well as built-in stabilization. So what I ended up doing was ordering myself a run cam something. Well, as you can see, we have the run cam box here, but when we open it up, if I can get this box open, there you go. What, what what shape is that? Um, it's a cube. And what does Runcamp sell that's in this form factor? Well, you got it. Today, we're gonna be discussing about action cameras. More so the built-in stabilization features that are inside action uh, cameras. So what I ordered was a Runcam 5 Orange. So that's this little cubey looking GoPro 5 session looking thing. Um, it, I would say does the job decently for what I need it to do so far because right now we used to have this, right? But it went poof. So this is gonna have to do for now. Um, so recently I went on a little road trip and uh, with my brother and we kind of uh, did some tests. We did some flying of course and I managed to get some footage to use on this five, Run Camp 5 Orange. Uh, settings that I've used on this uh, 5 Orange are as displayed right here. Um, just as quick settings to give the camera a shakedown and a test. The built-in stabilization with the Run Cam that's on the camera right now is not the best. And hence why a lot of people who use action cameras of this sort rely on th external third-party software to help them um, stabilize their video using what we call the gyro data. That's uh, there's a gyro sensor on inside the Runcam 5 Orange and a lot of your other GoPros. Uh, I believe up from GoPro Hero 5 Black and up, they use uh, gyro data. And essentially, this gyro data is it records the the X Y Z coordinates of it records a bunch of data that helps it sync with the video. So that we can um, take advantage of this. All right, so what I decided to do with the footage that I was able to grab today, uh, first, we're gonna play it out right now, uh, give you some fancy music, we're gonna play it out. Uh, let's see how well the footage came out. I'm gonna be first time seeing this as well as you. So let's see how the footage came out. And then we're gonna insert that same clip that you just watched and put it into DaVinci. Yes, I do use DaVinci to edit all these videos and just recently, I found out there is a Gyroflow plugin for DaVinci. So we're going to be playing around with that. I'm going to teach you how to install it. And let's see if we can get the Runcam 5 footage looking even better. Okay, but first, play the video. As you can see, very, very shaky. You can see so much uh, camera wobble and stuff like that. And I can assure you, this thing is mounted solid, okay? It's not moving anywhere. It's not jiggling in the wind or anything. And um, we're gonna try to make it better. Now, this is what the run cam file would look like in the actual program. <laughs>
now we're gonna install the Jarful plugin for DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna play around, mess around with it. Let's see if it can create better footage of what we can actually use and pump out content with. All right, let's dive in. And just a quick reminder, um, I just discovered this from a forum that I was reading uh, while I was doing some troubleshooting on the side. This plugin only works on GoPro files and O3 files as they have auto synced um, gyro data and video. That's how this plugin works. It won't work with Runcam files since those files are not automatically synced. So hence um, my idea of using this for the Runcam 5 Orange won't work. Okay, so to install the Gyroflow plugin, all you have to do is open a Google browser or Google search, whatever. Search up Gyroflow plugin for DaVinci Resolve right there. And you're just gonna click on the first one on the list. Uh, that's the OpenFX one. So here you can have Mac, Windows, or Linux. That's all the uh, operating systems that this plugin currently works on. So um, they each have their own separate instructions. We're gonna be installing the one for Windows because this is a Windows computer. Uh, so generally it is pretty simple. You just download the file from this link here. Uh, you will ex extract it and then you will uh, create a folder in your program files and then copy that extracted uh, folder that you got from the Gyroflow download into that folder and it should work. All right, so let's try it out right now. Okay, so here it is. We are gonna extract it right now. Extract all, extract. So we're gonna get this folder right here. And inside that folder is where we're gonna, is where we get the OFX bundle. And uh, from this OFX bundle, we want to go to our main PC, uh, our disk PC. So open a new window. Uh, let's just put it here. We're going to go to our C drive, so that's where um, our program files are. And then in not the x86, but just the normal program files. So program files, common files, and in here should be a folder called OFX. If you do not have this folder, just create it at this point. So you just create a new folder and rename it to OFX. Okay. And inside OFX, you need to have a folder called plugins. So you can create a new folder in here as well. Plugins. There you go. And inside this plugin folder, you will put in the gyroflow.ofx bundle. So you're just gonna drag that straight in there and it will copy over. And after that, just exit everything out. So close, 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 and start up DaVinci. And you should have access to the Gyrofold plugin now. So in the clip that you watched was the run cam clip, and it was pretty shaky. I've asked my brother for his GoPro clip since he is running a Hero 5. We're gonna try on the Hero 5. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay, so to enable the Gyroflow's plugin on this clip, all we need to do is go to the toolbox where our uh, video effects and transitions are. And what you're gonna do is scroll down to open effects and it should be at the very bottom right here. So it's under warp and it's called Gyroflow. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and you're just gonna drag it on top of the clip and it should uh, pop up the effects right here. So what you're gonna do is click that and here you go So gyroflow is loaded. What we're gonna do is just click load for current file And it's gonna find the gyro data that's baked within the GoPro's uh, mp4 files and it's just gonna load it and stabilize it in DaVinci Resolve. So what we can do right now is just play back and see if it actually did stabilize it If not, we can actually even open it in gyroflow so we can do that so if I click that, Gyroflow actually opens and it's telling me I have to update, blah, blah, blah. I'll do that later. But you can actually open it up in Gyroflow and actually be more precise with how um, the different settings, you can choose different uh, filters, et cetera, et cetera. And you can export it and drag it back in. So um, ultimately this is like a shortcut to Gyroflow. Uh, you can also make the settings here if you are so inclined uh, so that you can adjust the parameters like the, the point of view, the smoothness, um, 
uh, horizon lock row all the all this fun stuff so you can mess around with all that uh right now we're gonna check out if this is actually stabilized so we can hit the play button e yeah it's stabilized for the most part but you can still see let me try and make this a little bit bigger for you guys you can still see the micro jitters on the side of the screen and it's yeah I'm, I'm not too sold on this plugin uh how about if we mess around with the smoothness a little bit so we can maybe up that to six point six point four Okay, so that solved it a little bit. So you're gonna have to mess with these parameters a little bit if you're using the jar of oh, plugin. Of course, every clip is different, so you're gonna have different settings for each, and there's no one setting applies to all. But what I think I'm gonna do for my workflow is I'm just gonna open it in Gyroflow and edit it this way because as I feel like it has better performance when it comes to stabilization in the actual Gyroflow program. So like here, I've already opened up Gyroflow and it's done its thing. We're just gonna run an auto sync so it can stabilize, it can sync the gyro data and the video together. Uh, right now, yes, 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 we're finished. So if I play back this, see how much smoother it is than the actual plugin itself? So I'm wondering, is the plugin it, I'll, I'll mute this so that you don't have to, is the plugin itself like just doing default values and not uh, providing like the most uh, sync points that it can have? Or is it just me that doesn't know how to use the plugin? I'm, I'm guessing the latter of those two, but um, yeah, the actual Gyroflow, um, but yeah, the actual Gyroflow program works better in my opinion than the plugin. Here, like, look, everything's stabilized. You don't even see the little jitters on the side. Everything's flowy and that's what we want at the end of the day. So, I think ultimately, I think I will be using uh, the actual Gyroflow programs. I'm going to continue to play around with the plugin and see if I can adjust the settings enough to match it with the actual program itself, as I, at this point, think that the actual program works better than the plugin. Again, this uh, plugin is being updated all the time, so who knows, maybe down the line, a Gyroflow dev will see this video, I highly doubt it, but maybe they'll see it and uh, I don't know, make it better. So at this point, uh, you have J the Gyroflow plugin into DaVinci and feel free to use it. I'm gonna be using the actual Gyroflow program as I feel it's better. And yes, A, it will make my workflow just like one step longer, but I feel like it's better quality, better stabilization and yeah. I'm just going to be using the actual driver for a progr program when it comes to stabilization as I'm running the GoPro Hero 6 which doesn't have hyper smooth and alright so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, hopefully you guys have more success with the Gyroflow plugin than me um, but that is how you install it how it works and go ahead and use it until then I'm going to be waiting for more of my parts to show up so I can build the second 5 inch again yes it sucks. If you haven't watched that video, check the latest video. It's the one I did with Cody and essentially, um, I'm just gonna throw the card on the screen right now and you guys can go check it out. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for some more parts and until then, I will see you guys later. Take care.